It's been a busy political week. We want to get through all of it right now. I've got a power panel in studio with me, Dr. Richard Basire, uh, Professor Hamad Manyora, and uh, Professor Makagwanji as well. All of you, thank you so much for coming in this evening. I want to start off with a few, a few days ago. President Kenyatta in Kisi accused Raila Odinga of uh, fanning the flames of the post-election violence. In, in his phrase, in his phrase, the phrase he used was, Yenda liwasha moto. I'll start with you. What did you think of that? Uh, I, I think the president was referring to a historical moment in 2007 when placards were in the street saying no rider no peace i think that's what he was referring to but uh, i guess in, to, in 2017 uh, every analyst who, who is a, a keen scholar of this country will tell you that uh, 2017 will be as peaceful uh, as you know uh, as a night sleep uh, there's nothing because there, there are no fundamental issues that would get us to where we were into 20, uh, 2007. Why the constitution, the new constitution, addressed most of those grievances? Professor Peter Gwanja, the reason why this perhaps is um, attracting a lot of attention is because some people accuse the president of revisionism Meaning? in terms of how they, how they see that history and his version of it appears to be at variance. No, well, definitely the, the, the conflict was, was between two men, uh, Raida Odinga and Mwai Kibake. Uhuru is, a, is an observer. He says, Raida caused the, the conflict. He might be right, he might be wrong, but he was a bystander. I think, uh, let me come in, uh, uh, on at that point. I think this country is, uh, does not, for me, does not require a reminder of the negative things that have almost plunged our country into total civil war. I, I would think that uh, a professor is not being really uh, to the point when he says that uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta was a bystander watching what was going on. He was the deputy prime minister later, and uh, he was playing ball in the side of PNU. And, and, uh, and uh, what I want to say really essentially is that these utterances are not helpful at a time like this okay. when we are very close to the elections. And by saying that the election will be, uh, this election people will go to sleep. I, I, I've seen uh, in the last uh, couple of days where government saying that people are forming militias. And I mean, this, this has been trending on the newspapers. All right, hold, the newspapers. hold that thought, gentlemen, because yeah. I just want to bring everybody back. President Uhuru's accusations that ODM leader Raila Odinga was at the heart of the 2007-2008 post-election violence seems to have awoken old ghosts and is bringing back memories of the very fractious campaign he reigned in 2013 to get to state house. Kwa hivyo mtu akija hapa awambie o ati musichagwe hii watu muna kumbuka yale ya litendeka kwani ye mwenyewe alikuwa wapi na yale alikuwa katikati ya hiyo vita. Eh. Eh. Alafu anakuja na alaumu huyu ndugu yangu na ye ndiyo alikuja kuwasha moto. Nani aliwasha moto? Nani alikuwa na lugha ya 40 against one? Ah, <laughs> Let me tell you, Larry, war is as old as humankind. And human conflict is always with us. What is important is after we have gone through it, we get to a point where we must move on. And one of the things that helps us to move on is n never to to reignite things that we have kind of gotten over. Is President Kenyatta just exciting his base here? Oh, I, I, I really wouldn't want to say so, but I think what I see and what these two gentlemen are saying, and I agree with them, is trying to bring that back. You know, it's like a ghost. When you have buried something, let it be, remain buried. Professor yeah. Gwanja. I, I didn't say that. I, I think the, the point is this. You refer to, th to things when you see the same strategies recurring. You see the same tactics coming to play, for play again, in a, and, and it is your duty as a public servant, as a, as, as a politician, to warn the public about something. Now, what is happening to, in 2017 is that the tricks of 2007 are coming into play with perhaps, this is a speculation, the same ed game, which is basically you polarize the, 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 the country, you create a, a situation of anarchy and chaos, 
and then call and then for that, 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 call, that, then call for power that, sharing. That flies in the face of what you are yeah, saying. That's that the it, point we're saying. Going to be, so this it, is what maybe we'll, sleep. This is <laughs> no. So who's trying to polarize the country here? No, the point is. Hang on, yeah. Professor Kagwanja. Who's trying to polarize the country? If you know that you are going to lose the game, you scrub the game. This is a, uh, it's lesson one or one of the kiosk tea taking. Uh, scrambles. Are you referring to <laughs> NASA or are you referring to, to NASA? To it's NASA. NASA. No, so, no, so, not NASA. By the way, I don't no. believe there's anything called NASA. Uh, forget so, so this is Raila Odinga. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. So Raila Odinga knows he's going to lose. <laughs> he's trying to polarize the country it's so he can call for power sharing. Yes, that's the point. Dr. Uh, Basile. Uh, what I would like to say is that, uh, for, for me, I think. Uh, the president was not even speaking to his base. The president, uh, un unless we are saying base across the nation, but he was speaking in Kisi, where people were asking, last, this week, they were asking specifically, why have we not been compensated since 20, uh, uh, 2007, 10 years later? And, and uh, that is when he came up to say that, because the local community know where uh, their people were killed, where the, their property was destroyed, and who actually did it. But the president is trying to divert their attention. I, I wish president could stay away from reminding us okay. and people who lost their loved ones in 2007 uh, uh, okay. and, uh, and play it, play it in such a way. In fact, I, I, really I don't believe... On, gentlemen, yeah. we, we don't want to spend too much time on one subject because there's plenty Sorry, to get through. Yeah. Fair enough. Great. So let's move to Nairobi because the governorship aspirant, uh, Mike Sonko, says he's leaving his options open ahead of the Jubilee nominations. Sonko is caught up in an increasingly bare-knuckle fight for the Jubilee ticket, for the Nairobi governor ticket with the uh, Gatanga and presidential MP, uh, presidential candidate, I should say, Peter Kenneth. Yes, I have a right. It is my democratic right to have a governor and have a governor. And have a governor. He got applause for that, Manyora. <laughs> you know, na na this Nairobi Jubilee thing is becoming interesting by the day. I, I think I can sum it up very sim in a very simple way. One, that Jubilee have a problem. On the one hand, they have a candidate they will want to, to, to win this. That's Peter Kenneth. But on the other hand, the reality is it is Songo who has the ground. Yet there are certain things about Songo that Jubilee is not happy with and comfortable with. So they are trying to find a way in, in, of aging Songo out, of, Songo out of this game without hurting themselves. And he's asserting his right to defect if that happens. And if he defects, he would lose. Because you need combined Jubilee votes to fight Kidero. Professor so the moment you split the Jubilee vote, you stand no chance. Is that how you read it, Professor Kagwanja? No, no, really not. Are you saying Sonko can survive on his own without Jubilee? No, no, no I, I think Sonko and my, uh, Peter Kenneth can work together. They don't seem to be working together no, so well th now. No, that's why they have committed themselves to be in Jubilee Party. If you, do, if you look at the definition of a party, is that you share something in common. That's why, uh, that's why uh, uh, Sonko is not in, in NASA. I wanted to, that's why I wanted to explain something. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me finish so this. Right. Let me finish this point. Yeah. Why is uh, Sonko not in NASA? Why is Peter Kenneth not in NASA? Peter Kenneth, actually, at one point, was assumed to be more gravitating towards Raila Odinga. Yes. Why is he where he I, is? I, I say so the I point say. is, let, let, me, let me finish. The point is this. Both are like-minded politicians. <laughs> it just requires, yeah, they're like-minded politicians. That's why they're in Jubilee. Why Peter are they in Jubilee? Kenneth and Mike Sonko are yes, like-minded They are like-minded. The point is this. this just in. The, the, the point is, they are tapping into different constituencies. Okay. And the question is, who has a, a stronger constituency? Peter Kenneth has the middle class. Uh, Sonko has the, 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 the grassroots, the Mukuru Kwanjenga. And now, which one is the bigger constituency? The, the, the question is, the question that Jubri is working with is, those in Mukuru Kwanjenga, those in Lavington, Lavington are uh, our constituents. How do we bring them together okay. and not divide them? And before both of you yeah. jump in, in fact, let me bring in Peter Kenneth because he appears he has decided that his battle for the Nairobi governor ticket will have to address the issue of Team Nairobi, as it is called. More so, Senator Mike Sonko. Kenneth has been giving as good as he gets from the senator. You know, to glorify failure is very bad. <laughs> Mutu anapata hii anasema PK ya kona hii nne. Hii zangu ine ni Peter mbili na Kenneth iko mbili. 
Dr. Basiri. <laughs> Uh, uh, what I would like to say, Nairobi is going to be tough. I think uh, Jubilee, uh, I, 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 didn't, I don't agree with what uh, Professor Kawanja was talking about, saying these people are like-minded, they are going to work together. That's a wish, I think. People would wish that parties would be cohesive internally. But, but, but his demographic analysis appears to be spot on in terms of where Peter Kenneth has support and where Mike Zonko has support. True, true. Support, you know, and where is the majority? We, we know where the majority lies because each vote counts in an election. And, and that is why he thinks that if this will be free and fair election, he will be elected. And if it's not, he's suspecting. And, and actually, let me say this, Rally. Uh, Kenya has had so many issues regarding uh, uh, party nomination, party primaries. And I thought Jubilee was getting it right when they're saying, okay, party members should have a card, and all these are the people are going to, to, to do the, 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 the voting. But the problem is how is the, is the, the, the process going to be carried out? And Mike Sonko seems to be uh, skeptical about the process. That's why he says he can jump out. And He's a politician. He He's a politician who thinks he must win, uh, as most of politicians in this country think. Therefore, he will jump ship. Can he jump ship and survive? He can survive. He has the numbers. Let me tell you this. Let's not speak a lot of English on this show. The only person who can beat Kidero right in the morning is my Mbubi Song. Why? He has a following. You, you give it to him. You like it or not, he has a following. And, he, and again, you see, on top of the Jubilee numbers, he will always get the Kamba vote from NASA to, top, to tip the scales in his favor. Now, Sonko knows he, that. He knows he's the only one who can beat him. Sonko equally knows Jubilee is uncomfortable with him because of his character. Now, he's trying to be a bad boy. By saying he can jump ship, he knows he won't win. He's trying to warn Jubilee. If you try anything, I don't get it, you either don't get it. Because if he moves out of Jubilee, he knows he will not get it because he needs the Jubilee numbers, which now will go to Kenneth, but there will, be, there will not be enough to make Kenneth beat the, the point, Kidero. The, the point is that... Before you jump in, because there's not, that's not as popular with everyone, Kamukunji MP Yusuf Kastan is among those who are opposed to the Team Nairobi, as they're called, and uh, by extension, Senator Mike Sonko staying in Jubilee. <laughs> Anaonyesha kwamba hana nguvu katika watu wa Nairobi yeye ni kuleta wahuni tu na kuburuga mikutano. Eh? Mimi sikuhitaji kwenda na walinzi pale nilikwenda peke yangu. Lakini yeye alileta wahuni kutoka mahali mbali mbali. Eh? Hatutaki uhuni hapa Nairobi. Hatutaki waenda wazimu hapa Nairobi. Professor Kagwanja, that's the image problem that Sonko has. Yeah. But you see every politics has what we call the charlatans. And, and, and uh, sometimes in Kenya we become too, a little bit too naive and that we expect that uh, uh, the, the, the uh, politicians equal to a priest, which is, very, which is rather fallacious. A politician is a politician. A politician is a warrior. And you use the technique that you, you think will get you there. Uh, and therefore, uh, I don't think, I know Michael Son Mike Sonko very well, very, very well, and I've worked with him. He's not as cheap as you think. This is a man who gets uh, his family to, uh, you know, Mombasa and treat, give them a treat and still sits there and play games with his children. He's not uh, the way you think. But the game in politics... How is that related to his politics? The, no, the, the it, it, it is because he, no, he, he's, he's sober. He's, a, he's not a lunatic. He's not, uh, he's not as misguided as you want. The, but the point is, every politics has a charlatan. And the charlatan means that you have chosen your line of, of politics, Right? Hey, yeah, I've yeah. listened to you. Look, look, at, look at South Africa. Look at South Africa, for example. You want to give the, uh, yeah, the example Julius, of Julius, Julius, Julius Marema, Marema, Marema has risen to the helm of South African politics, not on the basis of so-called decent politics, but on the so uh, on charlatan politics. I, I, I was just trying to say this. You see, I've heard Yusuf talk about uh, Wahuni and whatever name he used. That is what Hillary Clinton did by referring to Trump's supporters as a basket full of, uh, of deplorables. deplorables. Now, those people Yusuf is talking about are the people who vote in Nairobi. Mm. Those are the people who will deny PK votes in the same way they denied, consider it done. What was his name? <laughs> Jim Lambaro. Jim Lambaro. As they give it to Sonko. This is a fact. All right. <laughs> yeah, but, but the point is that the two, invariably, will have to work together 
because Jubri has to win the Nairobi. Anything is if possible. Any, in any, anything that Peter Kenneth versus Sonko means Jubri is out of this game. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Mm. We want to leave that there because I want to move on to a different side of the political spectrum. NASA principles Friday moving to show that they're still united amid reports of a possible fallout due to actions by some party members. Safari hii, sisi wana NASA, tutakuwa na presidential tallying center. Na sisi tutakuwa na iyo baometric yetu sisi wenyewe. Ya kale hayanuki. Ya liopita sindwele tukande ya leo na ya kesho. Ukiwa Suarez, ukiwa Neymar, hatu ukiwa Pele, lakini ukienda kwa uwanja, peke yako, na wale wengine kumina moja ni timu hafifu, watakushinda. Ati mambarabara kilomita alufusita. Unajua lami, kilomita alufusaba na miatano, ni kutoka na robi, Mpaka Roma, kule Roma. Sasa hiyo barabara kutoka hapa mpaka Roma, hiyo lami hiyo hiko kenya gani? Dr. Basire, are you buying this unity bid? Uh, I, I think, uh, uh, Larry, the, uh, the, the, the unity uh, seems to be inevitable. The, 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 there is no way NASA is going to survive if they don't support one candidate. Is the unity and inevitable or the fallout inevitable the unity, when the presidential candidate uh, is announced? Inevitability is not uh, the issue here. I would like to change uh, the wording, your wording. Uh, not in inevitable. Anything is possible in politics. But what we see, that the, 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 uh, as they are confirming, is that there is not going to be a fallout. Uh, I think the one thing that uh, was clear yes, in their yesterday meeting is that uh, Kalonzo is, is, is actually confirming and assuring that he's not, go to, he's not going anywhere, uh, though people were arguing previously, the previous day, that he, he's likely to get out of, the, uh, of, of, of NASA. And, and once leaders confirm, I want to be positive, that that is the way they want to work. Like we could say we could see... Uh, uh, you know, cracks in the, 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 the coalition, then we can say they, they are heading in a certain direction. The evidence shows that they're still together, they're still working on the formula but in, uh, to be able to, to get one of them to it, represent. In the, Kenyan the politics, leaders say one thing today and say a different thing tomorrow. It's so true. Professor it's, it's true that but just because they say it, does that mean it is true? No, the, the first and foremost, let's, let's, let's acknowledge that uh, as Mahatma Gandhi once said of Western civilization, uh, NASA is a, is a good idea. Beyond that, it is dead in water. If it is not dead in water, tell me why cod is not holding together. Why is cod in discord? The only new thing we have in this, call, in this thing is something called ODM. ODM is the strongest party in this republic. It's the oldest party so far except Kano, but it's the strongest party in this. Raila Odinga knows very well that his fallback is stronger than anything else in court. But can he win so alone? He doesn't have to win. He will be the candidate in NASA or NASA doesn't exist. That's, it's as simple as clear. It is either Raila Odinga or no NASA. Why would you want to trade your strong bastion with very weak and frimsy things? Now, so the, the, point, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, NASA will hold together if they all commit themselves behind Raila Odinga. Outside, outside that context, forget about NASA. Manyora. <laughs> you know, we are not magicians or prophets. <laughs> so, <laughs> like he said, we can only take it in good faith. That these fellows are also operating in good faith. They have committed to work together, and we hope they'll work together. Now, definitely whenever there are two, three, four people together, each of them brings some, something on the table. And it's, 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 there's nothing wrong with one of them being stronger than the rest. His argument that Raila is strong holds water. It's true. But it doesn't mean that if it is Kalonzo, then NASA is broken. I don't want to see it that way. What I want to see is the first question you ask as to whether this thing will hold or not. And I think in, in trying to analyze this, you must understand that the, you look at Kalonzo and ask yourself, where would he go if he left NASA? Jubilee has been mooted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where will he go in Jubilee? Where will Raila go? These gentlemen are in this like in a marriage. When you see people celebrating 25 years of marriage, Larry, I know you're a young man. 
don't think it's all roast there. there uko ndani ya ndoa kuna joto but like mdaba they say this it there but they will, they will remain in that but, tent but, but this so so uh, let me just finish what i'm saying is the, the the fact that they really have not much option outside nasa will they help do. to bring they them do. together they do okay. they don't they have do. much option they do they do which this, option these are people who have betrayed each other in the past but let's talk about today no, they so have the, the history the history of the fact that it's something the history of betrayal is longer than the history of working together Kalonzo moved to become the deputy president for uh, if we were to go by that argument because i had yes. the floor if yeah. we were to go by that argument yeah. then ruto and his kalenjin community would not support uhuru because if you talk about betrayal the history of this country has shown that uhuru's community has betrayed everyone that has supported them from raila's father to kalonzo to name them to mudavadi so it can be you see I, no no it's not emotional, emotional. i'm just saying it's factual that's it's, emotional that is factual in fact, now that you mentioned the because you talk about you talked about uh, betrayal okay i choose as an educated person not to read today in terms no. of what happened yesterday okay. that is cheap reasoning eh? now that you mentioned yeah. Ruto, let's talk about the deputy president because he's been on nasa's case from the very beginning he says the principals cannot even agree on who is to lead them into the august election wali tuambia juzi ati leo watafanya matangazo makubwa sana sasa ati walikuwa anatuambia wataenda kutangaza candidate sasa candidate wameshindi wa kutangaza kwa sababu wamechanganyikiwa Dr. Bosire. Uh, my, my problem uh, really with uh, I mean Ruto is being a, a nice politician but, but the, the fact is that uh, how does he concern him why does it concern him so seriously it does. Uh, it, so seriously that NASA <laughs> should name a candidate I thought uh, they, they should concentrate on on their, it, it, it brings in some panic in in the part mm -hmm. of, uh, of, mm -hmm. of jubilee uh, I, I would wish and actually that is why actually that is why nasa is stretching this a little longer but they, i think they might be able to get a formula and and get mm. get a candidate because uh, the instigation that you have to tell us who is going to stand up who is really calling for it is it members of nasa or it is is it jubilee that wants it the deputy president's no. argument is that nasa is so confused they can't name a candidate uh, I, not no, naming no, a no, candidate no, confusion actually let me explain it no, no, no. The, the deputy president has a bigger mes mes message than that yeah. This for this country to progress to the next stage as a middle income economy, you need stability. The deputy president is warning Kenya to have nothing to do with the chaotic NASA because chaos is not part of our future. NASA cannot <laughs> NASA cannot put its house in order, has never put its house in order, has no vision of the future. I mean Rari, I don't want two, to go back two, there. Two, two months to the election, <laughs> assuming that they name their candidate in July. One month to the election. How will Kenyans know the vision of this party? The chaos uh, that took place I, I, in Nairobi. I think, uh, <laughs> in Jubilee. No, I, mean, I, I wanted to, to, yes, explain, uh, to explain and even defend. Robert. Real quick, yes. Uh, you see, when you are wooing girl, girls in our days, not your days, <laughs> you don't do it. <laughs> one way, one tactic was to get somebody to say bad things about your opponent. Yes. If you can't say it yourself. Yes. So Ruto is quite in order. You need to say as many bad things about your opponent as possible including calling NASA disorganized, whatever, rudderless, leaderless, visionless. He's perfectly in order. He's wooing voters. I, he, he can't say very good things about NASA. No, no, that, uh, I think that's, NASA. that's so simplistic. Okay. That's simplistic. <laughs> I said the deputy president has a, a noble mission than simply wooing girls. What is that, okay. no, what is that noble mission? The mission is warning Kenyans that the, our future lies in a stable political order. NASA cannot guarantee that stable, predictable, and determinable political order. He has not said that. And I don't think Jubilee that's, that's what it can is. assure. Jubilee cannot okay. assure anybody okay. a stable political order. Gentlemen. Either. Uh, it depends this on... Kenya, okay. this Kenya belongs Kenya, to Kenya, all of us. I, I have, to, I have, to, I have to, 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 to say something. Real quick, see, a, stable, a stable future cannot be guaranteed with the kind of things we are seeing going on in this country. And things we say against... You the cannot guarantee me stability when you are running the country in, in a certain way okay that guarantee is not quite there it is the jubilee has, this message jubilee has put his house in order look here has put his house in order it is telling kenyans this is where your future is uh, you have the last one in five seconds 
Dr. Abisiri. Uh, I would say that uh, I, I hope our country will run elections it will that will be peaceful okay. and fair so that we are guaranteed of right. peace and prosperity for the future. Don't hope. Okay. That the, the, divisions, okay. the divisions right. that are emerging will not help anybody. Gentlemen, let's leave it there. Thank you so much for coming in today and helping us make sense of the political week that it's been. We are going to take another break, right? When we come back, plenty more with uh, Vicky and I and then latest sports.